What you're going to see is a masterclass in f***ing dignity, son. If you see this guy coming, then you better start running. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 most brutal Malcolm Tucker insults. Before we begin, if you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at the most offensive, inventive, and sweariest insults from Peter Capaldi's political spin doctor, Malcolm Tucker. A central character in The Thick of It and the 2009 film In The Loop, most of Malcolm's dialogue can be diluted down to threats, insults, and rants, and these are his greatest hits. There's a lot of bad language ahead, you have been warned. Number 10, not a reference to your daughter. Amidst a cabinet reshuffle, Malcolm's on the phone trying to find a new Secretary of State. I've got more on my plate than a spinster at a wedding. That wasn't a reference to your daughter, by the way, Andrew. And this entry is unique because it's possibly the only time Malcolm may have accidentally insulted someone by casually dropping death and abortion into conversation. Doug Hayes is a massive abortion. Again, not a reference to your daughter. It perfectly encapsulates his complete lack of empathy and restraint. If she says no, well, I don't know, the only other candidate is my left bollock and smiley face drawn out. Number nine, type two diabetes. Malcolm and Cliff Lawton go way back, to the very first episode, in fact, when Malcolm was integral to Cliff's resignation. I know what transport f***ing entails! So, when they cross paths in the press office during the 2007 special, Spinners and Losers, there's quite a bit of tension. Malcolm. Elvis. Sorry, sorry, Cliff. But Malcolm's not interested in catching up, and he cuts the ice with this savage remark. Well, look, I'd love to stop and chat you, but you know, I'd rather have type 2 diabetes. Yes, f*** you, Malcolm. Number eight, Marzipan Dildo. First impressions are always important, and Malcolm's is naturally outrageous. Sticking with the first episode, and with the Cliff Lawton confrontation, and Lawton's visibly shaken as he prepares to meet Tucker. Um, Malcolm's there. Malcolm? Where? In there? In Why? It's just a social call. A social call? Jesus Christ. Yeah. So, when one of the first lines we hear from Malcolm is him describing someone as a sugary strap-on, it instantly illustrates his rampant wit and notoriety. Oh, he's useless. He's absolutely useless. He is, he's useless. He's as useless as a marzipan dildo. Number seven, Ollie the Balaclava. Of course, many of Malcolm's most memorable lines come as part of an almighty rant. Jesus! And they're often at Ollie's expense. Following a disastrous loss of immigration data in her first week as Secretary of State, Nicola Murray tries to steady the ship by enlisting the help of Chris Addison's character. Better tell this little person all about the Prime Minister's Catastrophic erectile dysfunction! Malcolm's already incensed, but when he hears of Ollie's involvement, he loses it completely. He's a f***ing knitted scarf that twice a f***ing balaclava! Number six, shite head revisited. Phil Smith's in the firing line next as Tucker tries to maintain a semblance of control. I love it, I love it, it's the pre-match spy for the big super gay weight title fight, eh? Ollie rounds on Smith first, but his attempts at authority are just a warm-up fight for Phil, who stands no chance once Malcolm gets involved. Okay, shite head revisited. Launching into a long-winded, anatomically inspired threat, Tucker leaves his victim stunned into submission. No, get out of my fucking sight. Number five, Dot Cotton. Today, you have laid your first big fat egg of solid f Featuring in another fantastically profane rant, Malcolm eviscerates Nicola, again following the immigration data loss. Putting another unexpected spin on the bulldog chewing a wasp expression, he has us imagine EastEnders legend June Brown in a particularly grim scenario. But that was before, when your only problem was <laughs> shit pun in a newspaper and a face like dot cotton licking piss off a nettle. He's got a unique way with words, that man. Number four, Omni Shambles. For possibly the most famous exchange in the thick of it, Nicola and Malcolm come to blows once more, following in an unfortunate photo shoot. And you need to fucking listen to me, Russell, you fucking antipodean fucking kangaroo loving fruitcake. Nicola accuses Malcolm of sabotage, but the tables quickly turn when Tucker attacked. You're also fucking mental. Jesus Christ, see you, you are a fucking Omni Shambles, that's what you are. Omni Shambles was eventually christened OED Word of the Year in 2012, as Malcolm's influence broke new boundaries. Number three, Sweaty Octopus. As has become blatantly apparent, Malcolm couldn't care less who he offends, or how personally he offends them. I'm sorry, mate, but you need a lot of powder. I've never seen anybody look so 
looking ugly with just one head. Backbencher Ben Swains in the crosshairs here and Tucker's very unimpressed by his latest TV appearance. Cue a deluge of merciless insults, rounded off with some vicious inspiration from the deep blue sea. You're like a sweaty octopus trying to unhook a bra. Number two, you are not me. A climactic scene for the series as a whole and arguably Malcolm's most epic rant and Ollie's on the receiving end once again. But you are not me, Ollie, and you never will be me. A changing of the guard appears imminent, but Tucker's not about to idly stand by and watch it happen. Trying to be me will kill you. I give you 18 months before you're a washed out, weeping alcoholic. So he unleashes merry hell in Ollie's direction, crushing the young upstart with every syllable he spits. Malcolm left the building years ago. This is a husk. I am a host for this job. There really is only one Malcolm Tucker, except no imitations. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honourable mentions. Have them delivered to her home this evening with a card that says, sorry you had to go, but let's face it, you are a f***ing waste of skin. Darling, I wouldn't f***ing piss on you if you were f***ing allergic to piss, right? When I need your advice, I'll give you the special signal, which is me being sectioned under the f***ing mental health acts. Number one, Boring Psycho. We've gone feature length for top spot with Malcolm Tucker's big screen debut in The Loop. After delivering critical and fabricated intel to the US Assistant Secretary of State, Capaldi's character demands an apology for a previous slight. But when he doesn't get one, he slips into insult overdrive, delivering the most malicious swears he can muster. I've come across a lot of psychos, but none as f***ing boring mm. as you. It's Malcolm Tucker at his brutal best. You are a boring F star star do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.